What's going on? What's going on fam? It's your boy Papa Solio. What up? What's going on? Got your coffee? Got your coffee ready for this episode? Yes, you like it? He likes it so much. If you don't like your coffee this much, you don't have the right coffee. Gotta make love to it. This video is to address those that are accusing me of body shaming. For those of you that don't know my other content on Instagram and my Daily Swole podcast, I talk a lot about fitness topics and I am confrontational in the sense that I use the full breadth of my language. I call fat people fat, I call lazy people lazy, I'll even call an ugly person ugly. I'm just kidding, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. But I am a huge proponent of free speech. That's how we formulate ideas. That's how we get points across. That's how we discover new things. That's how we communicate. I love swearing. I swear on my podcast. I use excessive swearing because it gets the full emotion when necessary. Swearing is pretty much all human emotion just slammed into words. And they're fun to use. And it's part of our language. We should get over it. If you're offended by language, go watch something else. Now, to get to the point, fat acceptance, body acceptance, all this acceptance, all this victimization that is happening in our society. It's going from one thing to the next. It's like follow the bouncing ball. There's one issue with one social group, then there's another issue with another social group, and they talk louder, and they talk louder. And the great thing about social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, is that people can communicate. The problem is people that probably shouldn't be communicating are communicating. <laughs> really, but everyone can communicate, right? So everyone has a voice and everyone can have a loud voice if enough people support them and, you know, gather around their cause. When it comes to being obese, we know for a fact that being obese is a health risk. It's a health risk for the person that's overweight and it's a health risk or financial risk and strain for the rest of the country for people that have to pay for the health care, that have to pay to support people that can't help themselves. I am not talking to people that have medical conditions of no fault of their own that are very obese, okay? We all have cards that were dealt and we do the best, or some of us try to do the best with the cards, with the hand that we have. Most obesity is self-inflicted. Being fat doesn't just fall in your lap, it falls into your mouth. You're eating too much and you're eating the wrong foods and you're not exercising. You're just not being healthy. We know this, most of the disease and the issues are self-inflicted, they are preventable. Now, if you look at the statistics that show that one in every three people in the United States, that's about 100 million people, have type two diabetes or are pre-diabetic, which means they will have type two diabetes within five years, which is astounding. It's a number that we cannot support financially. It's a number that we can't support medically, it's just out of control and it's preventable by making better choices with our physical exercise and with our nutrition. The information is out there. All I am doing is addressing the facts. If you are fat, if you are overweight, whatever you wanna call it, horizontally challenged, I don't fucking care what you wanna call it. The truth is the truth. You're either at higher risk for a disease or you're at a lower risk for a disease. I'm not fat by any standards. I have muscle, I have a beard, I have hair. Does that mean I'm immune to disease? No, of course not. That's why I am trying every single fucking day to do better, to do the best that I know how, to take care of my body, mentally and physically. I think you should be a shamed if you are not taking care of your body and to embrace it and to promote this fat acceptance that, oh, I'm overweight, love me for who I am, I'm big, I'm beautiful. You can be a wonderful person. I'm not saying anything about your personality, but to embrace and to promote being overweight and eating whatever you want, that's just straight up unhealthy and it's absolutely fucking dangerous. But these people are promoting being unhealthy. They're essentially promoting a faster death. They're promoting diabetes. They're promoting heart disease. They're promoting cancer. This is not debatable. It's a fact. It's a delusion. If you're overweight, you're not a healthy human being. Does it mean you have heart disease if you're overweight? No. Does it mean you have diabetes if you're overweight? No. Does it mean you have cancer if you're overweight? No. It puts you 
in a higher risk category and that strains everyone. So I am calling out to all of you that are fat. I'm calling out to all of you that are not fat to use the words that you need to use to describe the situation at hand. If you are fat, own it, step up, join a fitness program, join a gym, start getting healthy, start walking, start making better food choices, better food decisions. If you are fat, it doesn't offend me personally. It's your life. If you wanna be miserable, that's really up to you, but you're not helping yourself. Don't be overweight and fat and join this fat acceptance movement and call everyone a body shamer just so you could have a community, just so I can be the enemy, just so I can be blamed for your shortcomings because it's your fault. You're blaming me for something that's your fault. You are overweight because of you. You're fat because of you. You're not fat because of me. What did I do? I'm putting out information that's gonna help keep you from gaining fat. That's gonna help keep you from being unhealthy. That's what my podcast is all about. That's what my content is all about at the core. It's about making sure that you get the most out of your life. And getting the most out of your life isn't eating your way to an early grave. This is the issue. Free speech is in the crosshairs. It's not about you getting insulted. If my words insult you, that's not my fault. I will risk being offensive to say the truth. I will risk being offensive to say the words that need to be said. Whether or not you get offended, that's on you. Why are you getting offended by me saying the truth? By me telling you the way it is, why does that offend you? Perhaps you're not happy. Perhaps you have low self-esteem. Perhaps you're frustrated, but the information is here. Are you working to make a difference? Are you working to get better? Are you working to lose fat? Are you working to be healthier? Because if you're not, you're affecting not only yourself, but everyone around you and society. I don't see fat people and hate them. I'm not mean and rude to fat people, but to deny that they're fat is absolutely fucking insane. It's absolute denial to reality, and it's extremely dangerous to our culture and to our future. Yeah. <laughs>